at the beginning of this century, it is important to rethink the modern, important that is, to move beyond the historical period defined by the postmodern. The starting point has to be globalization, understood in its economic, political, and cultural aspects. More to the point, the starting point has to be blindingly obvious fact to the extent that 20th century modernism was a purely Western cultural phenomenon. Today, there remains the task of envisaging its global equivalent, that is to say, of inventing innovative modes of thought and artistic practices that would this time be directly informed by Africa, Latin America, or Asia, and would integrate ways of thinking and acting current in, say, Nunavut, Laos, or Bulgaria. This time, to have an impact, African tradition need no longer to influence new Dadaists in a future Zurich, nor need Japanese print inspire tomorrow's money. Today's artists, whatever latitudes they live in, have the task of envisaging what would be the first truly worldwide culture. But there is a paradox bound up with this historic mission, which will have to be undertaken not in the wake of, but in resistance against that political pressure to conform known as globalization. In order for this emergent culture, born of differences and singularities, to come into being instead of conforming to the ongoing standardization, it will be necessary to develop for it a specific imagination relying on logic unlike that which presides over capitalist globalization. It's up to us now.